Hey everybody, my name is Lovely Cheese Pizza. <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Play some more Gran Turismo 3, by the way, as we are plowing away through the final 11 laps of this endurance race. I don't know, man, we might actually even get this thing done, maybe in like this episode, I don't even know. We're, I mean, we're going, we're going through it so quickly, it seems like. I, I like, I'm, I'm kind of astonished, really. <laughs> Uh, and not to mention, we are we are definitely we're approaching for the first time. You know, maybe within the next maybe like five laps or so, we might actually be able to um, you know lap somebody for the first time. And I'm pretty excited about that. I think it's going to be super cool. And it may have to have you know both the guys that are in front of us over there going into that that curve. And they might both have to pit in order for me to obviously have a chance at them. I don't know if just by naturally progressing through this through 11 laps that we'd pass them you know the easy way who know or the hard way so maybe the easy way would be the best way but and we'll see what happens which is going to be really good because i know how i said that i wasn't going to film all these in one sitting i totally have filmed all these in one sitting <laughs> i couldn't help myself man i just i've been like so i've been so enveloped in this race that i i can't get away from it and I'm probably going to regret it later because my, my throat is starting to hurt. Like, not like, you know, getting sick starting to hurt, but it's getting pretty fatigued, <laughs> for sure. I can I can feel it. I can feel it deep down within the pit of my soul. It's just like, Adam, you need to give it a break, man. <laughs> Your voice is not designed to go for this long. I mean, you're this is not supposed to be like a filibuster style, <laughs> you know, filming session. You don't need to go on for forever like this, but I'm doing it. So, okay, you know something that really, I feel like I've been really on the topic of movies a lot lately, but, you know, I, I since I'm, you know, really trying to be more engaged in that, I, uh, I'm really, I'm really bummed out for, for, for one particular reason, but, um, and, and I'm really concerned for another one. I, I'm really, I'm hoping so hard, I'm hoping so hard that, um, that movie Split, the one by, uh, by M. Night Shyamalan, I'm really hoping that that's gonna be good. I have, I have such a bad feeling that it's not gonna be, but, like, I've seen the trailer for Split a million times, and just, like, the sheer concept of, of multiple personalities and how sick that can be if it's executed well for, you know, for a suspense, you know, like a psychological suspense thriller. Like, if that's executed just right, that could be such a great movie with the way that they kind of present everything where, you know, they, they, they have this guy that has all these different personalities and, like, they're... They're like, you know, they're trapped somewhere and they're trying to have him, you know, help them escape, but one of the personalities is like super, at least like one or two of the personalities are like super, super dangerous because of the fact that it can like, you know, alter its body chemistry because it's able to use more, you know, more of its available, you know, brain power or whatever. And so I think that if it's done right, like that movie could be super tight. Just like seeing how all of that, you know, is kind of, un, you know, uncovered and whatnot. But I, I, I'm so skeptical on it, though. Like, I'm definitely going to go see it, but there's just something about it that's, like, making me really weary that it's just going to totally flop super hard. But we'll see We'll see what happens. The one that I'm bummed out about is, uh, is the new Ring movie, Rings, which, uh, I'm kind of I'm glad that they didn't call it the Ring 3. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of glad that they, they tried to use different naming conventions for it. Do I think that Rings may have been the wrong name? Yeah, yeah. The thing that really bums me out about this movie is that it seriously looks like it's going to be just a carbon copy of the other two movies. But, you know, but it's just going to be like, Oh, well, the first two movies were if you found the if you played the uh, the VHS tape that had, you know, the weird completely, you know, off the wall kind of disturbing you know, movie with the, like, the, 
the rotating, floating upside down chair and like the fly and all that stuff. You know, instead of it being, you know, you watch the video and then you die. This time we're gonna we're gonna update it with the times, and it's gonna be if you read the email that has the embedded video that's got the weird, disturbing content in it, then you're gonna you know then you're gonna die from that. It's like really like that's unless you really decided to do something more in depth than that. I feel like that's gonna be that's gonna really especially for fans of the series. I think that's gonna really just kind of be off putting. Like, really? You're just gonna be like, oh, well, you know. I like, they should have just kept it with the video. Or even like a DVD, but seriously, you're gonna make it like a chain email <laughs> that has an embedded video? Like, nobody ever opens, let's, let's be honest with ourselves right now, nobody ever opens, you know, emails anymore, unless it's like a really serious thing, you know, like from like your insurance company or, or, uh, you know, like a. Like a specific uh, like customer support email or something that like you specifically went out of your way to request. Like otherwise, let's be honest. You're on your iPhone or your Android phone. You go to your you go to your your mail center. You're deleting all those right away. Like you're just you're not even glancing at it. You would like if you saw an email from like a friend and it's like, open this now. Blah, blah, you you would probably be like, dude, give me a break. Come on. And especially if it came from like one of your friends. One of your friends is not gonna. Not gonna just send that thing to you. Let's be let's be honest with ourselves here. So I I don't know. I I think it's I think it's gonna fall flat super super bad, and that sucks. And like okay, and so after that, I decided to I was like looking around. And I was like, what other like since you know since we're on the topic of horror movies here, and I was you know kind of you know looking at you know Split and 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 Rings and whatnot. I was like, what other what other horror movies are coming out this year? And there's a lot of like, you know, sequels or remakes of movies coming out. Like I saw that they're they're making like another alien movie, which oh boy, I'm 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 really worried about that one too, because like they realistically could have stopped after the first two alien movies. Like they didn't really need to make any of the other ones after that, because it's it's kinda like a Terminator thing. Like the first two Terminators are accepted as like they're both really good and then everything after that it's just like the third one's like yeah the fourth one or the salvation they're kind of like uh and then from what i understand genesis for for a lot of people they're just like oh, come on man really just like what are you doing kind of a certain like a, kind of like a similar thing with alien like the first like the first one was just incredible the second one was great and then after that I mean, it's like okay, yeah, this is this is okay, and then it's just like, God, come on, man, you, you you gotta you gotta let a series die <laughs> at some point. Just it, it's it, it's like a Home Alone thing again. The first two were great. Everything after that just slowly progressed, even just like really hardcore south into dog shit, or just disappointing. I mean, maybe not all of those were just like terrible movies, but they just they didn't need to happen. And so I see that you know they're gonna make another Alien movie. They're gonna. They're apparently they're remaking it, Stephen King's It, which, oh boy, I don't know about that one. Like I, I loved the original It, and like I'm, I'm petrified to watch it because I don't want that movie to to like be really really bad and like totally sour my, you know my my view of it. You know, like I, I feel like you know. I mean, you're always gonna have your. You're always gonna have, you know, the way you feel about the original movie. Kind of like The Matrix, in a sense. Like, I'll always recognize that the first one is great. Like, the first one's a good-ass movie. The second one, while obviously not nearly as good as the first one, I still like it. And, like, the third one... Oh, boy. It definitely kind of fell flat. Like, it's it's, it's a little bit too over-ambitious, I think, and it just... I, I don't know. I, there's, there's a certain things in there that I don't think they needed to happen. <laughs> but it, I, I, I haven't allowed it to spoil my view of the first movie that I really like. And I hope that's what would happen if I went and saw, you know, the, the new the new It. That it, in the event that it was really bad, it wouldn't spoil what the original and even like the second one to an extent were for me. So, who's to know though? But I saw they're making like another World War Z, which... I'm not a fan of the World War. I'm not really a fan of like the new version of zombies. I've I've kind of already gone over this before that I love 
like zombies in a traditional sense, you know, like the kind of the slow droning, you know, decomposed body dragon, you know, their semi lifeless corpse around, you know, looking for flesh and brains to feast on. Not like these crazy fucking like jumping off of buildings and landing on their, you know, landing on a car on their feet and then running like 40 miles an hour and like having like 400,000 of them climbing up a wall or whatever, <laughs> you know? Like, they're not supposed to be like these hyper-intelligent beings or whatever. So, I don't know, I, I don't think that I'm, I'm definitely not going to watch that one. I, I just, I'm not down with that style of zombie. And then, uh, a couple other things that were coming out that were remakes too that I, I can't remember them off the top of my head now, unfortunately. I'd probably have to pause this thing and, and look it up, but I don't know. It there's just a I, I I I really worry about the day that you know about the time in in our lives that we finally totally run out of ideas. Like it's kind of sort of what happened to gaming and it's hey here we go we're gonna pass our first car yeah we have done it at lap 35 out of 40 we finally passed our our first rival vehicle. I knew it would happen eventually. Actually, we've passed two of them, but like one of them on the track and not just, you know, in the pit. Super sick. I was I was kind of almost thinking it wasn't going to happen for a little bit, but yeah, we, we definitely got there in, in the end. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of what happened to gaming in an extent. I mean, you, I mean everybody kind of knows it at this point. Like, you know, developers, you know, there's so many games that just feel like carbon copies of each other. Like, I feel like almost every first-person shooter feels exactly the same, the, you know, anymore. And like, instead of a lot of these developers making new games, they're just remastering and re-releasing old games. I mean, we're seeing it right now with uh, with uh, Crash Bandicoot right now. I mean, instead of making a new Crash Bandicoot game for PS4, they're just remastering the first three out of the series and re-releasing them with better graphics instead of just making a brand new one. And like, I don't get me wrong, I think that, you know, they're gonna look great when they're done and remastered and all that stuff. Like it's it's gonna like I'm definitely gonna play them. And it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Especially the third one. I think the third one's probably gonna have the most justice done. Cause I think that there is just so much more to that one than the other two, in my opinion at least. I haven't played the first one in a long ass time, so maybe I'll, maybe I'm like way off here, but I think the third one, just because it's my favorite out of the bunch, I think that'll have, you know, I think that'll one, that one has the most to gain out of all of it. But I wish they'd just make a new one, you know? And, like, there are so many other games, like, so many other, like, franchises that instead of them just remastering the old material, just make a brand new one, you know? I just, uh, like, like, I, I, I want them so badly to make a new Max Payne game um, that was that's you know, way better than 3. <laughs> I don't get me wrong, I thought 3 was fun, but in so many ways, it just, I don't know, it, it just, it didn't quite do it for me. Um, yeah, I don't know, I, like, there's, there's just certain things I'm conflicted on, like, I'm not, like, totally, I'm not totally turned off by the idea of remastering old games and releasing them. Like, there are certain games that I would love them to do that with. Um, uh, like, I would love them to do that with, uh, like, the original Siphon Filter. I think Siphon Filter with today's graphics would be an absolute blast. Or even like the original Max Payne with, you know, today's graphics would be an absolute blast. Um, I just, I think that, you know, they're, I think that they're just doing, they're doing certain things just a bit too much. Like, I mean, think about what, like, Super Mario is doing. Super Mario, even though they're, you know, Super Mario at least like, just about every damn time is making a brand new style of game. I mean, even with games as simple as Super Mario Run, I mean, that is a... Even though they're using graphics, you know, directly from, you know, like, the new Super Mario Brothers, you know, type of games, I mean, at least they're still making a brand new thing. And even with the, the, new, the new one that's coming out for Nintendo Switch, I just saw the trailer for that. That looks weird as hell. Super Mario Odyssey, like, it's, it's like an... It's like an like an open world adventure type of thing and they're going to be using like real world locales in it like I saw a part of it they're going to be inside of like New York City in there like they're actually going to have Mario in New York City like you know like it was in uh, what the Super Mario Brothers movie which oh yeah they're like totally I think they're aren't they like totally like uh, like 
gonna put that back in theaters for like an anniversary type thing when they're like re-releasing it again. Which I don't know why they're doing that, man. That movie is so bad. <laughs> like, like I understand why they're doing it with movies like Home Alone and Jurassic Park and and uh, you know Ghostbusters and and whatnot. But like, why the hell would you do that with the Super Mario Brothers movie? As if you know all the actors in that movie haven't been tortured by that for their entire careers already. I mean, John Leguizamo will never live that one down, along with Dennis Hopper. I feel bad for that man. Like I think I think I read something that like his his kid growing up like um like he he like all he like he just continually asks his dad like like why were you in that movie <laughs> like essentially like like why <laughs> of all the of all the things like why did it have to be that one that movie was terrible and it was that that movie again. Yet a, a movie that could have been, I mean, that was a movie that could have been, I mean, they could have hit that out of the park if they would have just probably, you know, taken, taken the safe way out on that one. I mean, you could have, you could have made a live action version of that that was just literally the video game with real people in it. And, it, I mean, people probably would have been all about that shit. But no, oh no, you had to try to go way above and beyond the Call of Duty for that and... <laughs> You turn that thing into just an absolute head-scratching nightmare. So, oh my god, my throat is just killing me right now. We've only got just a few laps to go. we got three laps to go. We're, we're going to make it through it. I know it's going to provide a, a fairly lengthy episode out of it, but you know what? We're, we're going to do it. We. Yes. <laughs> yes, uh, what the hell's her name? Yes, Debbie. We are going to do it. <laughs> Oh, King of the Hill. I need to go back and watch King of the Hill again, man. I, I miss the fact that it, you know, I don't I don't think it's on Netflix anymore. I'll have to check that out. Because when they were on Netflix, man, I, I, I went through the entire series. I went through the entire series. One of the, one of the first, like, animated series that I've gone, like, not like anime, but like one of the first animated, you know, things that I've gone all the way through since, uh, oh boy. I mean, I've gone through like a lot of older cartoons from you know from my childhood, like you know like Rugrats and Hey Arnold and and Doug and uh, Rocco's Modern Life and 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 you know and those types. But as far as like ones with more adult theming in it, like King of the Hill, I think might be the only one of those that I've gone through every episode. Like Family Guy, uh, there's definitely plenty of material there that I haven't seen. And The Simpsons, I mean, there's like ninety-seven thousand episodes of that, and. I really only followed it, you know, pretty, pretty in depth for maybe like a couple of seasons at best. And it was back when I was, uh, when I was hanging out with, I, with uh, I just, you know, I, I was hanging out with a slightly different group of people that were actually following The Simpsons a lot more heavily, and so you know we used to watch it more often. And then uh, even things like South Park. South Park was a was a show that. It just, like, that type of comedy, like, I could watch it every once in a while and and get, like, a, a decent laugh out of it, but that was just never a show that I could watch it regularly and, and you know, be able to handle that kind of humor all the time, you know? Uh, it's, just, it's just one, it's that type of show that I feel like you can only take it in divided doses and, and you know, not totally go insane by it. And, like, let's see, Beavis and Butthead, never saw all those. I love the show, I, I really do, but... Never saw all of those. American Dad, I love the show. Haven't seen... I've seen definitely probably about three quarters of it, of it all, but definitely not all of it. That's another one that I think I'll probably have to go and watch the rest of the ones that I haven't seen yet. Because I mean, I'm basically watching that just about every night on uh, on Adult Swim. I, I love it. Uh, Rick and Morty, another one I really need to go back and watch all of that, because that show is fucking hilarious. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Yeah, King of the Hill definitely has got to be... It's It's got some rarefied air. I think it's probably the only one of its kind out there that I've gone through the, the whole damn thing. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. My friends, we're getting so close. And we're going to... I mean, we're going to finish this thing, like, over 15 minutes faster than what I had initially thought. So, hey, I am smitten by that. That is great. Not to mention, I'll have a nice little backlog of videos to, to work with here. This is definitely one of the first times in a little while that I have, you know, filmed a whole bunch of one game in just one sitting like this. I mean, I, I did it, I did it a couple of times for like the Evil Within and 
I think back at a different time when I was doing uh, some of the Grand Theft Auto stuff, probably like Vice City and San Andreas I had a few times where I <coughs> where I filmed a few of them in bulk. But largely I've been doing kind of the one and one, two, three a day type of thing. We're just rolling into uh, the to use the the rush the rush uh, commentator's voice now that we're on the last lap. I'll do the final lap. Because, you know. Or even uh, oh, I can't remember the name. I can't remember the name. It was like an arcade game and it was like a you were in like a like a four wheel. It was like a four by it was like a kind of like an off-road four by four type of game. I don't remember what the name of it was. It, oh, it's gonna bother me that I don't remember what the name of it was. It wasn't like uh, you know off-road thunder or any of that type of game. It was a a lesser known one. But when you got on your last lap, you'd have like this really weird ass music playing, and it was just like this guy. He just had he was like super over energetic, and he was just like last lap, you know. And, and it sounded like he it sounded like a guy that the, the the guy that recorded it was in like an office chair, and he was just like bouncing up and down like on like a caffeine bender or something. He's just like last lap, <laughs> you know. It was just kind of, it's kind of creepy. I can't remember the name of that game though. Oh my god, it's gonna drive me crazy. I'll probably end up thinking of it later, but uh, but yeah. So we're we're almost there. We're we've only got just a couple of turns left, and then we're gonna have our our lovely pile of a hundred thousand credits and a brand new prize car. And I can't wait to figure out what it is. And it'll actually, you know, it'll be about, you know, it'll be a longer episode, but it won't be too long. And then I can finally turn this thing off and go make myself something to eat. I'm I, I'm kind of at a point where I've got like that protein headache going on where I haven't eaten in a long enough amount of time that I really need to do that. And then uh, probably hit the sack, which I could assume in some situations could be gay talk for uh, for going to bed, you know. And also engaging in uh, male on male coitus. That would indeed probably involve it, at least one of the two of them probably hitting the sack. <laughs> you know, so that's what that is. All right, well, we have done it. We have actually fully done it. 100,000 credits and a pretty sick looking trophy. Look at that, 100,734 CR, which could be credits, it could be uh, Croatian, whatever the hell their unit of money is, I don't even know. Let's exit. Ah, we did it. It's actually really weird. Okay, so the time for the bottom two, there was race results for the bottom two cars that finished later than everybody else, but somehow all the other three cars in the middle didn't have anything. That doesn't even make any fucking sense. Do we get our... Ah, there it is. Oh my god. Oh, they choose between one. Okay. What are we going to get? Ooh. Um... That is not what I was hoping for. <laughs> I was really hoping for like that Formula One looking car down there. That would have been much better. What the hell did we just get? Please tell me this isn't just like a regular bummy ass Mazda Miata right now. It totally is, you motherfuckers. <laughs> oh man, we, we have been had. We have been had. I totally forgot that those prize cars, they give you one of potentially four, and I think three out of the four are kind of janky. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. At least in Gran Turismo 2, like, if you finish the damn thing, you were getting the badass car. We have been had. We have been, we have been absolutely had. <laughs> that really bums me out, dude. Oh my god. It's okay. We, we still have plenty of money. I'm not gonna worry too heavily about that. It's, it's gonna be fine in the long run. So, my friends, my voice has fatigued you know, to a point where I really need to call it good for the evening. So, when we come back on the next <laughs> on the next installment of Let's Play Gran Turismo 3, the ultimate driving simulator, I think what we're going to do now is, uh, I think we're going to go out and uh, we, I believe, just for the sake of, uh, you know, driving something, you know, a little bit fun, I think we're going to go out and we're going to buy ourselves a, uh, maybe like a Toyota Vitz and do the Vitz race. I think that'll be fun. Either the Vitz race or maybe, um, maybe, uh, what the hell is it? The, uh, maybe the Tourist Trophy. Doing the one with the Audi TT would be kind of fun. 
Um, maybe even uh, the Beetle Cup, possibly. I don't know. They're, they're all potential ones that we can have some fun with. We'll figure it out next time. We, we, we I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. So, until then, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, click the like button. It really helps me out a bunch. Uh, you don't even understand how much it is. And uh, if you are interested in seeing more content in the future, do subscribe. I, uh, I'm putting up new stuff all the time, generally every day, unless life gets in the way. And so uh, stick around, everybody. There'll be more coming up soon. So until then, you guys take it easy, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.